Hi everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. I'm Disturbing Puppet. So today we are going to be taking out our 3,000 point Tau army here against a variant of the 3,000 points for the Blood Angels. I've got a couple different versions of the 3,000 point army for the Blood Angels. We fought a pretty basic one last time. Um, I have one that incorporates a lot of the DLC units, and then I have one that incorporates the new Invictor units. So I might do both of them, I'm not sure. So today we'll probably do the DLC one. I think it might be a bit rough. Um, I do feel like the Tau were a little bit overpriced for what they are, possibly, and a little weak on firepower. They're a little fiddly. Like, I feel like the orcs, like, really meshed with me really well, and I kind of know exactly what to do. The Tau, I kind of feel like I have to be really careful about what I do with them in order to get decent uh, results out of them. Alright, so we're going to take the Tau army there we just showed up against. I think we'll do the uh, DLC unit one army here. So, pretty basic, although we do have a couple of Assault Terminators who are running with the Thunder Hammers and the Storm Shields, and there's a couple of Sanguinary Guard who do have upgraded Plasma Pistols, I think on both. Yeah. So, pretty nasty army overall. We'll give that a shot, fight to the death, see how we do. We want a fairly decent sized map. Um, I think the Tau do better with something a bit more open. Uh, I think we'll do maybe the Salt. Salt something or other. The salt map. Okay, the mouse is being a bit odd in its responses here. Alright, Blood Angels, we're going with this one. Yeah, so the other one, I've got uh, the Invictor army that I built. I think we'll try that one maybe next time. It's got three Invictors built into it, which are pretty good anti-infantry units. So, uh, might be interesting to see how that goes. Alright. What is it called? Salt something. Salt Exchange. It's not super huge, but it is, uh, you know, there's decent cover. Um, it's pretty good size. I think that's a good map overall. We're going to do unlimited turns, fighting to the death as per usual. You can kind of set it and do, um, you know, shorter battles, see who gets the most victory points, that kind of thing from kills. But I feel like a stomp is a stomp and it's more fun. I think the lighting is actually pretty decent on this map, too, if I remember correctly. Some of the maps have just weird lighting. The Necron stuff often has very green lighting, which makes the models look a little funny, that kind of thing. Um, I do notice, too, that the Tau, when you're zoomed out, a lot of the units look very similar, especially the basic infantry guys. It's kind of hard to tell the difference. Um, some of the other models for the other factions are much more distinct. The Necrons kind of have that problem, too, where we're kind of zoomed out. Some of them do look very similar. So I find myself, you know, using the wrong unit for the wrong thing occasionally. I do feel like this army could be rejiggered a bit. Um, I don't know if the invisible infantry are necessarily the best choice. I feel like they're decent. Um, they're interesting. That's kind of why I'm using them. But I'm not necessarily sure they're better than some of the other options. Alright, so other things we have to keep in mind. We want to stay close to the commander when we shoot for the extra accuracy and range damage bonuses. And then we have the ethereal that's going to buff... Uh, evasion and health, and then we have these guys who are pretty good long-range engagers, but they can also give uh, plus 25% firepower as an action. It's on a three-turn cooldown, so it does take a little while. Alright, we know this map pretty well. We want to kind of push up probably over to this side, although we can scout the other, so let's do something kind of like this. You go there to look around. We want the big Riptide battle suits up front. We'll keep the Breachers back because they're sort of there to deal with things that uh, cause problems. Tank, Riptide, all that kind of good stuff up front. How do we want to distribute? We can go invisible with you guys. Uh, Anti-close, we've got the Crisis battle teams that upgraded guns as well and the Breachers. So that's something to kind of help with. We've got kind of our artillery guy. We can sort of put him wherever. Although he does have a long-range gun we want to get good visibility with. I'm going to put him on, like, this side. Kind of hang out over here or here, maybe get angles up. I think that will work. Who else do we want to push with here? This will be kind of the front, absorbing a lot of the attacks. You're going to scout. Ethereal can kind of hang back. Let's throw, I guess, the... Crisis battle suits in. And the infantry we can get a fit wherever. Unfortunately, I can't tell what attachments. Um, we have shields on two of them, and then we've got a marker light on one of these guys. I don't know which one we're deploying, which is a bit of a problem. But we're pretty much all going to kind of jump them in, turn them invisible, uh, do some damage up close, that kind of thing. And I guess we'll just throw you guys in wherever. 
That'll work. Nothing shall stand against us. Yeah, the light here is a bit subdued, but you know, oh, my mouse wheel's still messed up. <laughs> Gives you a good idea of the size comparison. You know, these are even like in battle suits and stuff. And then we've got, look at the little tiny dude back there. The tower's so small. Um, even the, you know, the breachers back here looking pretty small compared to everything else. But they are a tiny little people. All right. So what we want to do, there's no reason to really do anything crazy here right off the Run bat. Waiting for instructions. Let's just we fly on up here for some soon. visibility. We might want to shift over. We're going to need like forward visibility. Why are you turning this way? That is just the weirdest thing. Understood. Look the way the enemy's coming. You crazy psycho. All right. Standing by. Just gonna Wherever push on me. up. There's no real reason to do anything else. Okay, which one of you has the marker light? On your word. The squad, alright. Unfortunate, you're kind of off in a weird position, but yeah, we'll bring you on up. Stealth team, reporting in. We'll scatter these guys out a little bit, because they're just gonna jump in on the enemy, uh, cause problems harassment. preferably if I can target the um, infantry that have plasma guns that's what we want to do these guys don't do that much damage though unfortunately tis a problem <laughs> bigger armored stuff we've got the ghost keel here which can turn to this one which is Move. helpful anti close ready we've got these guys we do have the rockets on them as well which are not fantastic they're moving passable I guess Trying to find a charitable one. Moving to position. Breachers, very, very good. I can even see running a bunch of breachers, um, especially against really aggressive enemies that want to come at you, because they're really, really good at doing damage at close range. Let's push it there forward. for now. The ethereals want to keep you? safe. Your range is like two, right? Yeah. So we'll keep you Wherever kind of... Wherever I am majority. needed. Your ability is... Also two tiles. For that one, two tiles. Yeah, the 25% shots is probably better. The auto hit is um, interesting. To the front line! Could be useful depending on the situation. Like, we want to use it on, like, this guy, maybe. That's actually a thought. We could keep one of these guys back. What's the cooldown on that? It's still three turns. That's pretty crummy. But we could potentially do that to stay back far enough that I could give him the buff. I mean, initially we could just move on up. But having the auto hit on him, because he's so inconsistent with the shots, it seems like. And it's a one shot, really powerful attack. If it misses. To the front line! Kinda sucks. Alright, I'm I just gonna auto Overwatch here. It doesn't really matter too much at this point. We're not gonna spot anything. The map is too big. We will scout ahead. Got indications of stuff. There is a lot of aggressive things in this army for the Marines. Up ahead. Terminators can teleport forward, and there's the uh, secondary guard guys that can jump ahead. So they might want to just close with me super quick. Land speeders also push More targets in. approach. All right, we might have contact here soonish. So if I use my ability, we're getting most of you guys. Last for a couple turns. I feel like it's pretty decent. We're going to keep you back. You might go in, though, but you're going to turn invisible if we move in, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and trigger the enemy it. Will not hinder you. The question is, do I want to have both abilities active at the same time? I've got a good bunch here, so Move I am going to go ahead and do that. and silently through the battlefield. I kind of like to have it staggered so I can do something every turn with the Ethereal. Otherwise, the Ethereal is just kind of hanging out and not doing anything. Ready for orders. Let's look around. I feel like there's probably... Yeah, I've got some vision there. i got three movement left. Okay. 
Okay, so that gives me some vision up ahead. There's no real obvious targets, but we could maybe marker light something. Librarian Dreadnought. The main thing I'm worried about is actually the tank. It's really good at killing off infantry and stuff. What are your orders? So you have an optimal range of six. Is that actually showing me six? It's about there at the moment. Uh, I think it's actually showing a little further, honestly. That's weird. I can count, right? Yeah, that's six right there. So if I go forward one, it should be one past. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's head up and look around. Actually, Ready range is also six. All right. We can overcharge with these guys as well. Let's creep on up here a little bit, although I'm not really getting much in the way of vision. We can use the invisible guys to get vision, potentially. If I jump... Confirmed. Up, gets me pretty far. Kind of have to pop the invisibility right away, then. Yeah, I don't think I have much else over here that's going to give me much in the way of good visibility. Nothing there. Yeah, it's actually his optimal range is a little further than he can actually see, which is kind of interesting. I'm just wondering if there's other targets here. This might be it on the edge. I don't see anything else. I don't know that anybody Standing else by. has better visibility, but I'm going to head on up to see. Okay, actually the vehicle's got better visibility. Right, so yeah, Librarian Dreadnought is probably going to be my main initial target here. Okay. That is acceptable. Wherever you need me. That's a decent target to try to take out ASAP. We don't need to necessarily jump in and marker light, though. I think we can hold off and do that later. On your word. So for now, how about you just hang out there? Overwatch, because, you know... Ambush, ready. Stuff may be trying to jump in on me. Who knows? Probably. Uh, we definitely want to get the commander up before we take any shots. We could also get a nice buff off from one of the fire blades. You have to be pretty close range to kill stuff. I could... Yeah, there's really... I don't really want to go invisible here yet. Let's go here and overwatch. It'll be a short range. I think it's three on this. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. will never see you coming. That. Hold off on overwatching or taking shots. You guys aren't going to shoot. Really, only the front three here are going to be taking long shots and then potentially the cadre fire blades. So, Ready for orders. Got two actions. To the front line! How can I assist? Let's get you guys up here. I'm not sure we can actually take much of the way shots. Having the commander there isn't really going to matter because I'm not going to shoot with him. It's just this turn, right? I'm not sure if it'll affect overwatches. That's something I haven't really thought about. Um, let's Moving. bring everybody in just in case. Moving. Nothing shall stand against us. Creatures we're going to keep back. What do you need? So you can hang out here. My ethereal, let's hang out over here-ish. You guys can't really get very far. Let's just run out over here. Just to kind of be prepped for jumping in at stuff next turn. Stealth team, reporting in. Take advantage of the cover. All right, we've got an optimal range back here. Artillery standing by. 
Unfortunately, I can't zoom out that far to really see super effectively what I can see. So if I position here, I could make it an automatic shot if I want to use an action with one of the cadre fire plates. That's probably not a terrible idea. Ready for so orders. Let's go ahead and go bonus shots. Make every shot count. Can you actually see anything? 42%, 38%. Yeah, I think that's actually a pretty good use. So let's go ahead and go... Range weapons auto hit. Study your enemy's movements. Know where they will be even before they do. Okay, apparently it's just us giving some advice, so uh, sure. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and light you up. Acknowledged. Nice. Good chunk of damage to start with. How can I assist? Don't think you can actually see anything. Yeah, so you're just going to drop an overwatch with our other action. I don't think stacking the multiple shot thing works. Uh, these guys do have pretty good range at six, as optimal. It's about there. Establishing sure. fire zone. Breachers, I don't think anything's going to come rushing at us. It's possible. But they will not get through this way. Look that away. The other cadre, can you actually shoot anything? No. All right. So we're kind of set up for lots and lots of overwatches here. Six is Establishing there. Establishing fire zone. I'm ready. What's our shot chance here? 75, that's pretty good. I think that's worthwhile. Go with the overcharge. Chance I'll take some damage, but I want to Exposing do as much as reactor. <laughs> Receiving fire. Okay, that was, you know, not as great as I expected, but it was alright. Didn't take any damage there, right? No. Crew ready for duty. So we can overcharge with you as well. We do have the rifles. I don't know that anything's in range. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, we can actually do decent damage to the land speeder. 30 to 50 damage on the dreadnought is pretty amazing, actually. Uh, let's hit the land speeder. Fire now! Okay. Little love tap there. Let's overcharge as well. Overcharging ion weapons. All right, I think it was seventy-five percent. Three shots, and I missed two of three. So uh, that's a lot. Uh, it's kind of hung up. I might have more shots coming. Resistance detected. <laughs> Took it a little while, but all right. So this is kind of the power we have here early on. If we have an open area, we engage from range. We do a bunch of damage. Uh, this only goes out... Yeah, so we're not going to get a shot with that. Can you actually see this guy? Not very well. Could just overwatch. Plasma rifles. Pretty bad chance to hit. Either way, honestly. I think I'll just overwatch here. They dare not approach. So we'll set that up. Yes. So these guys have an optimal only of two, but can go out to four. Uh, we'll just set you up close in case they want to jump in at me, I guess. Everybody left? Right, the commander, and you. I serve the greater good. So I do have the upgraded gun here, but it still has pretty short range. I do have a couple actions, though. Ideally, three. Okay. We'll push it out further instead of doing two actions, down. so maybe I can take two shots, potentially. Alright, and then I think we're just going to bring you back. There's no real reason for me to push here. We can kind of use you for vision later. I could come out here, but I'm worried there might be some stuff out this way. So I'm just going to back off here. I will overwatch, but I don't think there's... Any chance anything's coming in this far. 
I mean, it's possible there, there are a lot of things could teleport or jump in, but I don't think we get an overwatch for teleports. I don't know what that was. More targets approach. Something broke. Great camera shot there. All right, there's the Terminators. They're going to be a bit of an issue. They will not break! Okay, they didn't teleport. That might sound might have been them teleporting up anyway. Aggressors, Dreadnought. Dreadnoughts, I think in this one, have melted guns. I don't remember for sure. Tracking potential targets. Very aggressive land speeder there. Taking fire! Tanks over on the right side. That's a bit of an issue. It's a very aggressive land speeder there. Oh, got a melted gun on that one. All right, that's why you're going forward. All systems that's operational. not very nice. Hellblasters firing on the flank. Tank took a really nasty hit there. Yeah, the tank is really dangerous there. Nothing shall stand against us. Okay, now with the missile that I have on here, I don't really have to worry about range. If I can marker something, we can get an automatic hit. The problem is if I go for like the tank, I don't have much else besides the missile that can hit it. So you've got a melt a gun, you need to die. I should have paid attention to what kind of weapons you have. You've got a melt a gun. Uh, let me double check. You've got a melt a gun. All right, yeah, dreadnoughts kind of need to go. Hellblasters are a problem. You just have the bolter. Okay. Yeah, definitely a bit rough. I don't have much I can do with you. In an emergency, I can, you know, smack somebody. Ready for orders. I want to get the buff. I could fall back and use target sighted on him again. First, let's move on up. Let's get everybody the nice 25% shot bonus. Shot count. Pretty much everybody, anyway. How can I assist? Nobody pushed in far enough for my breachers to really do anything. Do I want to use this or not? I don't know if it affects the missile. I would assume it's a ranged weapon, right? Or does it count as something else? It does say specifically Seeker Missile. I mean, I can jump in and marker light it, probably. But I feel like taking out these melted guns, uh, these three melted guns, is the priority here. So a guaranteed shot is pretty darn good. Let me back off. Let's do that. Let's go... Guaranteed hit again on you. We're just gonna take the regular gun with the dreadnought. Okay. That's a start. For rockets, we could hit... I only have a couple shots with this, and it's really more anti-infantry. What would it do to you guys? Anything? Tiny bit of damage. I don't really think it's worth it, necessarily. Alright, from here. I am at optimal range, it looks like. Accuracy is pretty crappy. Assuming it's probably not any better there, based on the size of the circle. How are we doing on health? Okay, yeah, we took a big chunk, but I had the bonus health there, so I'm actually not in super awful shape. Well, I shoot a bunch. Let me give this a try just to pick this guy off. 
Okay. Yeah, we didn't need much to finish him. Good deal. I might actually keep you sort of back for the moment. Because they're going to be pushing me a little bit here. With pride. If we jump our guys forward, what are we going to do? Go after the Hellblasters. That's really about it. Everybody else, we need to focus on these two Dreadnoughts. I do have some close range firepower if we want to scatter for the battle suits. We could come over and kind of nuke the land speeder pretty effectively. So if I jump, how far can we get? Eh, pretty far up. Now, ideally, I want to be at two range for my guns, but that puts me in kind of a weird spot. If somebody moves into the tile I'm in, I do get revealed. So that's kind of an issue as well. Might as well be a bit nuts. No overwatches. Got a tech marine. Oh, they're really nicely bunched up here. That dreadnought also has a melted gun. All right. Yeah, let's turn invisible. Stealth fields. Unfortunately, the sanguinary priest is right here too. Sixty percent. 65. I can't really do much to the Terminators, though. Even though they're not looking this direction. Oh, yeah. Hit the Hellblasters. It's just not a ton of damage, unfortunately. On your word. So, do the same. I don't know that I want to go there, but I don't know that I have a better spot to go. I feel like no matter where I am, someone's going to move into the tile I'm in. And then I'm going to get revealed, but... On our way. Let's go. Here, I'm just, you know, I'm already in close combat with them. I feel like that's not necessarily a good idea. Thin them out. Up again. We are taking fire. Yeah, just a little bit of a peppering there. Not too bad. A little concerned about the Assault Terminators. Once stuff gets close, it's really bad for me. Awaiting the segment. Okay, you're gonna turn invisible. Oh no. I'm hoping I have enough firepower here. If we hit this, we're gonna do a lot of Fire. damage. We'll take out both of these dreadnoughts here, hopefully. Impatience acknowledged. Okay, decent hit. I'm not sure if I have the firepower I need for it though. Actually a little close. Right? No, we're actually in good shape. 100%, 100%. Well, I can't overcharge. What's our shots? 100%, 100%. You can overcharge. 100%, 100%. Okay. So he's got slightly more health. So let's overcharge you to hit him. Okay, nice. Instant death. With my rifles. You can do some damage to the Terminators. I might save it in case we need it on the Dreadnought to finish it off. Hammerhead, let's just let Heavy up. Heavy weapons firing! Okay, nice. Under fire. Explosion will do some work for us. Alright, these guns, optimal three. We can go out to six. I mean, maybe I could push up and then try to get a shot back there at the Hellblasters with that. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. This would be about four. En route. Leave me some movement. We can take a pot shot, move back maybe. Try to do some damage. We are taking fire. Didn't kill anybody. All right, back off. I think they're just going to come charging Understood. at me to punch me up close. So we did take care of a couple of them. We do have another dreadnought with a melted gun, and of course the tank. All of which is bad.
What are your orders? So what do we do? Do I try to take pot shots further back at the Dreadnought? Not the worst idea in the world. Um, I'm not going to kill it. We could just go for the Terminators here. I could move up and try to light up the Hellblasters. I don't know if I'll have a great shot. There, I've got a decent shot. All right, let's do that. I think the Hellblasters potentially can do more damage, although these guys can't do a lot. Like, they could come up probably just one-shot my tank. But we fire a bunch here, fire so I'm hoping I can kill a bunch of these guys as they're softened up. Okay. Only one of them left, so that was actually worthwhile, I think. Wherever you need me. Then I'm gonna back up. I will not fail. Alright, we've got our little rifles. We could try to pick them off. I feel like that's not the worst idea in the world. What kind of a shot do I have here? I don't. five, so that should be a decent shot. Yeah, take him out, hopefully. Nice. Okay, and then I am gonna back off. I have kind of the tank out front. If the tank wants to get blown up, the tank will get blown up. Yeah, this is a problem. These assault terminators coming in. That's definitely an issue. There isn't really much I can do about that. I feel like if these guys kill the land speeder. We can do some damage to the Terminators after that, but not much. If I jump these guys forward, we're not going to mark our light till we want to use the missile. We probably do that on the Dreadnought. So if I jump forward, I can shoot up somebody a little bit, but it's not really going to do much damage. So I don't know necessarily that I want to have these guys jump in as well. Armored support, ready. So first things first. Do I want to use all my movement? Not really. Let's go here. Let's see what we can do to the land speeder. We've got the upgraded guns here, so they do a lot of damage. Open fire! As long as we land the hit. Okay, maybe you can finish ready it off. For orders. Hoping you have enough firepower. Your firepower is pretty anemic, though. Open fire! It's very close. Six. Can we finish you off with this? What's our estimate here? Yeah, that should be fine. Just barely. <laughs> Damage estimate was a bit higher than that. I just barely got that one taken care of. Okay, so we still have the problem with the Terminators. So I feel like the other Crisis Battle Suit will try to go for that. Let's get you just kind of back more central, we'll keep you for visibility and hitting weak targets. Guys, back away. Affirmative. Okay. This is going to reduce my accuracy. Take to the sky! But. I need to get a good chunk of damage off on these guys, hopefully. Probably I'm gonna get wrecked, but we can bring you up to assist. Still some movement left, I can move. I, can I serve jump. the greater good. This actually gives me more range is engaged. which is kind of odd. All right, yeah, sure, jump over there. So I still have some mobility. I can move around a little bit. So him being here is going to increase accuracy and range damage of these yes. guys. So let's go ahead and start there. 21 to Firing 29 on to target. 6 if we can take shots. Okay, they took that like champs. How are Nothing you going to Nothing shall stand against us. 
me, and it's at least some damage. I will not break! And this is the upgraded gun, so it's about as good as you're gonna get. I will not break! Okay, we got one. That's not terrible. Moving to position. Back away. This will bring us closer to victory. You are probably doomed. They're just gonna run up and hammer these guys in the face and probably kill them. Uh, we are getting a bit scattered here. Still have an action with you. Can we actually hurt? Yeah, we can actually hurt the Terminators. Actually, not an optimal range. I'm ready. So I guess we could go up and you know, take the a front few line. shots. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can kill the weak one, but that's probably. About it. We will not break. It's being overly optimistic. We shot one of the tougher guys. Yeah, they can just tank a lot of damage. To we'll the front off. line. There's still the Sanguinary Guard back here who haven't jumped in yet, which is going to be a problem. All I really have for that is the Breacher team. And we might stay here and overwatch with these guys. Ready right? for orders. Breacher team, I don't know. I mean, we could come here to try to help. Shotgun blast around there, or we could try to protect this. I think doing that is better. Although the Terminators... I mean, we're better at range one, and we're going to be shooting out to two. Maybe. It's kind of unclear if I'm actually covering those. <laughs> Very ineffectively. Ready for orders. We'll hang back there. And then the Ethereal can't do anything. We can close combat with him, but that's it. So do we want to overwatch with somebody else? I suppose. Come on over for now. Probably what we'll do is we'll jump in at the tank or the dreadnought and marker it and fire the missile off next turn. That's probably what we'll do. Ambush ready. Set them up a little further out. All right. I can't overwatch or do anything with the uh, immortal or not immortal uh, ethereal. We did a good amount of damage, though. We took out one of the plasma gun squads. And two of those dreadnoughts and that land speeder with the melta guns. Oh, great. They're going to call an inner strike on me. How nice. Taking hits. Did you kill my ethereal? No, my ethereal's still alive. Okay, now we got the sanguinary guard about to jump at us, probably. It's a gun dreadnought moving up as well. Peeling them, that sucks. Oh, that was not nice. Just frag stormed my breachers, probably killed them all. No, there's still some of them left, all right. Get a little bit of damage off. It's not very much, though. Yeah, this particular Blood Angel army has a lot of really aggressive close combat mass damaging stuff. This is probably going to kill my tank. No, oh, still alive. Holy crap. All right. Tried to move into us, which reveals me. I figured that would probably happen. Now they're gonna die. That's just the heavy bolter. Now come the big guns. We've been spotted. They only killed one. That's pretty good. Oh, teleporting. I don't think. Can they teleport and attack in the same turn? Apparently they can. All right. Survive that, you're really, really lucky. This 
might blow the tank. Taking fire! Missing a lot of those shots, it's probably not very accurate, it looks like, from there. They're pretty far away. And more plasma guns. Just what I always wanted. Taking fire! We can take it! Yeah, barely anything actually coming through there for the shots. Good. Okay, uh, actually not a terrible result. So, now what? Well, we have a bit of a problem with these guys in the back. How's the tank holding up? 83. Okay. So we I can trigger our abilities. We kind of need to bunch up to do that. This is a major issue, but we've got the crisis battle suits for that, I think. That will work. Then Dreadnought. Okay, so here... <clears throat> I can just kind of freely move around, we're fine. Can I do anything? Your abilities are both on cooldown. Yours are both on cooldown. Okay, so yeah, nothing really I can do other than moving uh, my commander over to get an accuracy and damage buff at range. That's really about it. Um, that might not be I the worst the idea, if good. I can get to a good spot. Yeah, I mean, that's reasonable. It's everyone within, I think it's two or three tiles. Three tiles, actually, so that's pretty good. Yeah, let's kind of give everybody up over here a bit of a buff. Just bring the commander over for that. Alright, I don't think that affects you. I am a patient hunter. You are nothing but prey. Okay, good chunk of damage. They are right in my face, which is a bit of a problem. Armored support, ready. But I could go up hunting the tank with you guys. Would both of you be able to kill the tank? Probably not. So I kind of think I have to come back and deal with this situation. I also would kind of like to bunch people up so I could maybe pop my abilities here. Okay, that's one more dead. I don't know if we can use somebody else to finish you off. You're still pretty tough, even with 26 health. These guys, if I shot, potentially? Yeah, we might only do... No, it would be a kill, but I kind of want to use these guys to move up and mark something. Actually, I could mark anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and just mark this Dreadnought. So that means we're 38%, but the missile's 100%. Let's do that. So just a little bit more to finish you off. What do you need? You crazy guys. Pushing forward. We're gonna move up so we can just shoot the crap out of the aggressors here. Could go photon grenade on something. But I don't really see anything that useful necessarily. Nothing's really like um, relying on its range accuracy or its evasion near me. So let's just uh, shoot the Clear crap out of the aggressors. Nice. Yeah, that's why these guys are fantastic. They're a little squishy but uh, quite good at killing stuff at close range. Sometimes that's what you need. Stealth team, reporting in. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to kill this guy off. 
Could go invisible and then move, was kind of what I was thinking. Saves me for a little while, then I can always jump in on something further back. Well, actually, we can't jump when we're invisible. That's something I keep forgetting. Alright. Go over there. Received. Not too concerned about giving these guys bonus health and stuff, at least not at the moment. Mainly we want to buff all of these guys. So it's within two tiles, so from here I can help everybody. Wherever I am needed. That's here. I think I kind of want to jump in. Or move up and start working on the tank, maybe, but... The Tech Marine's right there. We can also try to kill the Tech Marine. That might actually be the better call. So, instead of coming over and getting a buff, we'll just send you off to do your own thing. Our HP and evasion up. And then you can just kind of get out of the way. Alright, we still have a problem here with these Terminators. Finish off the Dreadnought with somebody. You can't move. What are our shot chances here? Two to three times 20. It's basically the same. I could probably finish off the Dreadnought with my two actions here. So then we've got the two cadres. Calculating firing solutions. I could go ahead and fire the rockets if I need to to do a little bit of damage. But probably the reptides are going to have to take out these terminators. We're a little close at the moment. Okay, that's probably about as good as it's going to get. Although, this is a 5. So from here, we'll fire the other guns. Do some damage. They will not break! Okay, overcharge, yeah. damage from up there. Okay, pretty decent result. Don't have the other guns, so yeah, we just want to come back to take a shot. Uh, that's probably my Where best are spot. You Free up the hammerhead, we can move it back and do some shots as well. Alright, so we here. Now. Can't miss. Alright, there's one left. He still has a lot of health, though. Uh, we could try to do it with the cadres, maybe. Because I do have a lot of actions. What's our damage estimate? Can't miss. 24 to 32. We've got multiple actions. Oh, Viola. They will not break. Take a little while to whittle you down. These guys aren't that bad. It's just the How can I assist? amount of health and armor these guys have to try to deal with is kind of ridiculous. To the front line! Like, these guys are sort of like snipers in a way, doing a decent amount of damage, so we could try to target things further back, like the uh, plasma guns and things eventually, but we've kind of got to deal with this stuff Removing first. Removing targets. They will not break! Well, you 
broke. Let me see, how much health do you have left? 72, you can do like 40-ish. We could shoot at something else, whereas the commander here really can't, so we might as well do this. They deny the way of the Tauva. Kill them all! Okay. Delta guns are all gone off the board, so tank and, of course, plasma guns are the threat. have one action left here. What can I shoot? Anything? No. 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 Alright, I guess we'll just be dropping an overwatch. Not a bad result, though, overall. Um, we've done an okay job. We're sort of scattered around now. Yeah, you Wherever you need me. And you can move up. Can look the correct direction. Yeah, just go there. Artillery standing by. This guy's kind of slow. We'll probably have some stuff move my direction, but repositioning. I'll sort of try to get an angle up here. Okay, so we've done pretty well at clearing and winning this fight up front. We've got the hammerhead still. Hammerhead does blow up when it dies pretty effectively, so that's something else we could maybe try to just think about. I don't have a ton of health here. I can overcharge and shoot something. I think the tank is probably the most important thing I could go for. Uh, let me see what I can do to the tech marine here. Yes. Or the tank, potentially. So tank, uh, we're gonna do 130 some damage, probably. You, we might kill if we can land our shots. Oh! Okay, unfortunately only about half damage there. That's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping for much, much more. On your word. Looks like I can freely back off here. Are you looking a weird direction or something? Must be. So maybe we just try to use you guys to kill the tech marine if we can. Taking fire! Okay, pretty good. If we can have the other squad finish him off, let's uh, run around the corner. Run away! Run away! It's like these are sort of the Tal marines, essentially. They just turn invisible. Yeah, you can die. Oh! Good deal. Could try to advance up. I don't think... Is anyone liable to move to this position? Probably not. I just kind of want to get closer to the plasma guns. Let's do something kind of like that. Although that might interfere with my shots. If we try to have the hammerhead, shoot at the tank here. I can't kill it, but I could do some damage. And I can overcharge my guns. Or we could try to shoot the crap out of the Sanguinary Guard. I'll just see what my accuracy would be here. 90%. Alternatively, we could kill the Sanguinary Priest. That's the other option. If I overcharge, we can do probably half health on the tank taken out. I think that is somewhat reasonable. Let's try for that. Take it, fire! Okay, 235, and more than half, that's nice. I think we'll leave the tank out isolated. It does blow up spectacularly when it dies, so I don't want it necessarily next to anything else. We could try to draw some attention. 
So we'll sort of leave you out here to absorb enemy attention. Well, let's pull you back a little bit. Nobody's nearby, hovering over the corpses of a bunch of marines. And we still have you. Well, unfortunately, you can't really do a lot of damage to the tank with your crappy gun. You are much more of a basic infantry killer than anything else. We could try to swoop out wide to get around in the long run. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Will be there soon. Nope. Did I spot something back here? Maybe I'm crazy. All right. Probably I'm crazy. But yeah, if we can get, like, way back over here, we can try to come in from behind and start hitting them. But the tank... Probably our number one priority. Which we're working on. Uh, plasma guns, and then Sanguinary Guard are probably going to jump in on me and cause a bunch of trouble here. Taking hits! <laughs> A chainsaw doing a ton of damage to my my poor little battle suit guys. The enemy has engaged. The tank will probably finish them off. Hey, a little crappy counterattack there. Oh yeah, they're doomed then. Jumping in on them. Taking hits. Taking massive amounts of abuse, and they're behind me. Not great. Tank will definitely finish them off. Use the Sanguinary Guard to sort of desperately hold a line while the... Call another airstrike. Armor holding! How are they getting that many uh, command points? I feel like I've been kicking the crap out of them. For the battle suits, all right, they're down already. You're gonna shoot at the tank. Take a lot of damage. Wow, like every single one of them failed that roll. Taking fire. We can take it. Survive that surprisingly. Tank versus tank, we lose. Yep. And Hammerhead gone. Nothing shall stand against us. But we've done quite well. Really pushed them back here pretty hard. Um, our guys are now revealed, which is a bit of an issue, except for you. You're going to definitely work on that tank. You're going to work on the tank. That might be enough just by itself. I think we're going to try to focus on them. They, Yeah, they got really hammered. Almost all of them, all but one, took damage there. Is my hammerhead? It's like totally gone. It's like it's not even there. There's not even a wreck. Alright, that's kind of potentially a nice thumbnail there. <laughs> Dead Terminators. Ghost Keel Battlesuit looking on. Alright. Yeah, there's no real potential problems here other than the Sanguinary Guard. We could potentially just try to ignore... Yeah, tank is the priority, so let's see about you. How far are we from the tank? Nine-ish? So actually, I should be better if I back off. Yeah, it looks like. So it was 61%. Back off gets me to 68%. I might have an ability up. So we have extra shots. Ready for order. We have guaranteed hit. Okay. So if you do the extra shots, we're only affecting these guys at the moment. Let's at Armor least support. Ready. 
get them over. I don't know if I can get close enough to really do anything. So let's go extra Make shots. Every shot count. To the front line. I'm gonna come back to give me guaranteed hit. So I feel like this guy, he's, he does so much, but the chance of him missing just makes him feel useless. So using the ability in combination seems like a really good way to go. Calculating firing solutions. So now we have guaranteed hit. Almost a kill. So it kind of feels like a bit of overkill to use the battle suit to finish him. Ooh, you're in range. I think it's about time to use our missiles here. Yeah, that's reasonable. These guys are a bit less As armored. You command. They challenge us least, from afar! You know, compared to Terminators. Alright. Not, not bad. Ethereal. What troubles you? Yeah, no abilities at the moment. Uh, hide in the back for now. Alright, what do we want to finish the tank off with? Waiting for yeah, I can't sneak in here, but it's not a great shot, it looks like. I could play the long game and start, like, going way around. To kind of swoop in on them next turn. Or we could try to, you know, finish off these guys. Which, honestly, isn't the worst idea. Yeah, I suppose we'll do that. Since we have all of our guns, good to go. I have faced better. So three as well, yeah. Open fire. They Say, that challenge was us from afar. Yeah, these guys are still pretty tough. But we're gonna keep trying to swing around to go after these guys. Yes. Okay, we can jump. I think we just go whole hog on killing these Hellblasters. Confirmed. Hello there. Eat plasma. Okay, all of that, and you only got one. Say, so I'm a little disappointed. Want to get him a better result? Okay, most of them down. Nice. I could jump somewhere to get away, potentially. Or we could just jump in behind them and cause problems. Let's do that. It does give me a little bit of evasion to do that. And if they want to waste their turns fighting them instead of moving forward, then we could just kill them from the front. So these guys are actually a pretty good distraction. Yeah, the more I use these guys, kind of the more I feel like they're they're useful. Um, we've got a few turns of them just not taking damage generally, plus they're fairly tough for Tau. Their guns are a bit anemic, but you really have to just prioritize things like, yeah, okay, kill Hellblasters with them, or uh, kill Flash Kits with them, or, you know, that kind of thing. All right. So what are we gonna do over here? You guys are used. How can I assist? So if we want to, we can get up, take some long-range shots. To the front line! Something. Might be better if we kill the tank first, though, actually. Yeah, like, I think I'll have a shot at them if I kill the tank. 62, 94 at the Hellblasters. Actually, let's just do that. Whittle down the other we ones. taking fire! Okay, I was hoping I'd kill one there. Did not work out. I might move the commander with the Riptides for their shots, because they're a bit more important. Um, I probably should just use, orders. use the Riptides. I'm hoping I could kill... Well, actually, the commander could maybe the kill good. the tank off. And we 
can save you for something more important. Yeah, that should work. There we go. And who are we going to wreck with the battle suit? I feel like the lieutenant is sort of the obvious choice. I don't know if I can kill him. No, I can't kill him. You will need more than that. Get pretty close though. God, my breachers are still alive. It's amazing. You guys can jump. So we probably jump and hit the Sanguinary Guard with you, or the Sanguinary Priest with you. Actually, I can't get very far. Let me jump Moving. in and see. I think I can go maximum of four. 32%, that is terrible. 39, 51. And that's with the bonus for my commander being here. Uh, we could go missiles instead. Did that kill you? Yeah. Open just fire. Finish him off. Could have done that to the other Hellblaster squad. Might have been the better choice. But we still have a lot of things we can shoot stuff with. Uh, breachers. I feel like... Ah, oh, it's not very close. I was hoping I could just gun these guys down. We only have a range of two, so from here I can't even hit these guys. That is too bad. If I advance... We can shoot... Also shoot nothing, it looks like. Yeah, nothing being in range. Yeah, so we'll probably hold them back. The question is, do I want a Riptide to move over and hit the Sanguinary Guard? Potentially. Do you have the shot bonus? No, oh, I'm an idiot. We're too close. I can shoot the plasma rifles. Ah! And get one of them. Okay, can I see anything? No. Alright, in which case, I think we just back away. Which is a waste for sure. Easy. Try to set up an ambush here, potentially. Pushing forward. If they want to come forward, try to shotgun them in the face. Uh, if we move up, we can also hit him with the uh, grenades, so yeah, why not? Throwing photon grenade! Can't shoot you. Just gonna watch that close area. They'll probably just move out. Come around then. Alright, so ideally. Hellblasters, probably? Five percent, or we go for the Sanguinary Guard. It's a big drop off at 63. Sanguinary Priest, 76. That would also be something nice to get rid of. If we could land our hits, taking him off the board would be nice, but if we could just outright kill Hellblasters, they can't be healed, so let's try for that. We are taking fire! Okay, kill the couple. Done what you can. Nothing shall stand against Still us. Move. Shoot here. Moving to position. Hit the hell blasters. Ah! Okay, 
they're dead. I still have, I've got a command point. I could call in a couple of missile strikes on these guys. Oh, uh, that might kill the lieutenant, actually. You know what? Oh, did I use all my actions? I did. That's fine. We're fine. This is fine. Everything will be alright. So then you, before you come on up, maybe I can shoot somebody. 60, 47, 65. Uh, maybe if we land our shots, I might be able to kill the lieutenant. Let me give it a try. Not quite very close, but we still do have these guys. It's like we're just surrounding them and just slaughtering them. Uh, yeah, Lieutenant, go for the Lieutenant. Sanguinary Guard will probably jump out to attack something. This Sanguinary Guard squad might come pushing down here. Yeah, I've got actions with the Ethereal, but there's nothing I'm going to do with the Ethereal. Everyone's getting pretty far away. Can I move up some more? Yeah, let's just move Repositioning. Up. Yeah, using the guaranteed hit I ability on this uh, broadside in combination with these cadre fire blades is really, really good. Um, I haven't used it before this battle, so that seems like a really optimal way to use the battle suit. First time I used the battle suit, I think I missed 90% of my shots, so this really is you know feels a lot better. So I could kind of see running as many cadre fire blades as you can with the maximum number of broadsides as well and just having massive artillery barrages from the back might be kind of a nice way to try to uh, do some damage all right what you gonna do heal yourself all right sure go attack my guys up close yeah reasonable we're not exactly good at fighting back up close Gonna go for my ghost keel. Hostiles have engaged. Ow. Enough of this. That's a lot of damage. You guys, hey, shotgun blast. I have faced better. All right, we got a couple of them. <sighs> you will not best me. I think they just did. Yeah, that worked out really well. They just walked right into that. Still only got a couple of them, though. I serve the greater good. Okay. Well, first things first. Why not? Let's marker light. Painting target. Let's take a look at the size comparison here. Yeah, I feel like these guys should be a little bigger, maybe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You gotta love a shotgun. Okay. Now you are way out of position to really help much, aren't you? Yeah, there's not a lot left. So, uh, Sanguinary Priest and this one squad of Sanguinary Guard who are really in a goofy spot. Okay, well, let's try to get you in range to get a decent shot. I don't really need to worry about doing anything with the Ethereal. Um, we could try We can get the extra shots. We can get a guaranteed hit. Ready for orders. So, yeah, let's go extra shots for all of us. Who wants guaranteed How can hits? I, assist? I feel like for infantry, probably the commander will do the best damage against them. I mean, the ghost keels, or the riptides can as well. Just who do I want to have a guaranteed hit? 
to hit them, I'm gonna have to be at like a weird angle for the Riptide, so I feel like my commander's already in a good spot. So we could just go like, yeah, you can just guarantee get your shots. Now I've got multiple actions, so does this only affect the first action is my other question. So just out of curiosity. Yeah, 100%. They deny the way of the Tauva. Kill them all. It's got some splash damage, so that's why I was kind of thinking this might be a good option. It's still 100%, but that could just be because they're open. And it might not be the ability anymore. No, I still have the ability. Okay, that's cool too. So, no, if you have multiple actions, it does affect all the actions you have. So using it on your commander for killing infantry or something is not the worst idea in the world. They challenge us from afar! Just wipe that squad like it was nothing. I got a surge as well. Cool. We will not fail. I mean, I might as well. Thanks, camera. Um, hit the sanguinary priest as well. Ah! Take in fire! Oh, I almost killed him. Twenty-eight health left. Yeah, the upgraded gun on the commander is actually pretty decent. Armor piercing is a little weak, so really heavily armored targets, it's a bit rough. But um, against infantry and infantry squads, it will get the job done. Okay. Do I want to do anything crazy? Not really. I mean, we've cleared out most of the threats. Who wants the honor of getting the last kill? We've got multiple options. I mean, I can see giving it to the stealth battle suits. They've done a really good job keeping the enemy busy. Stealth team, reporting in. They also don't do that much damage, so really they're kind of more anti-infantry. But yeah, we've done quite good here. Um, actually, better than I expected against this army. I thought this would be a bit more trouble. Again, it's AI having trouble picking targets and... Ah! Focusing on priority targets that you need to kill. What did I even lose in this one? Crisis Battlesuit Team and the Hammerhead. Yeah, I mean, we've got the two Riptides and the Hammerhead up front, so they're taking the brunt of the fire, so it makes sense that, like, at least one of them is going to die. Crisis Battlesuits have to get close range to really do much. Um, there's a lot of anti-close range stuff in here that, you know, it's going to eat things alive close up. So it kind of makes sense. They get close, they're going to get eaten by the Terminators or the Sanguinary Guard. Understandable. But yeah, I'm really surprised the... Um, well, Piranha always is kind of weak. The Piranha is really more scouting than anything else. It did okay. We actually got a kill, surprisingly. We get three for one of the stealth suits. Two for the Breachers. Yeah, the Breachers are really good. Commander got four. Part of that was mopping up stuff that was already damaged. So yeah, like my broadside almost never gets a kill, but it's softening up targets and other things and then finishing off. Yeah, pretty good result overall. Um, a very definitive defeat for the Blood Angels in this one. Yeah, this has been more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. I've been Disturbing Puppet, so like I said, next time we'll probably come back and try this army against the uh, Blood Angel army with the new Invictor Battle Suits and see how we do. Then we'll move on to the next faction, which will be... We'll go in order they were created, so Tyrandids will be next. Um, I feel like they'll be a bit weak, but they might be a bit of a problem for the Tau. All right, hopefully I will see you next time. Until then, have a good one.